Hello everyone, today I will show you how to apply for a license on the website. First, let's learn about several license-related concepts. A license is an agreement made between a supplier and a customer to define the application scope and validity period of a product that the supplier sold to the customer. In this document, the product is a software version. With the license, the customer obtains the services promised by the supplier. A license contains a license authorization certificate and a license file. A license file controls the capacity, functions, and validity period of a software version. It is generated by a dedicated encryption tool based on the contract signed between the supplier and the customer and delivered in electronic form. A license authorization certificate functions as the credentials of license authorization. It specifies the software authorization range to protect the rights of the customer. ESN is the equipment serial number, which uniquely identifies a device. LSN is the license serial number which uniquely identifies a license file. ESN and LSN are similar to our ID cards. A revocation code is a character string obtained after you run a command to revoke a license. It enables you to change an ESN after you log in to the license management system. Depending on their purpose, licenses are classified into commercial and non-commercial licenses. Generally, the license purchased according to contracts are commercial licenses, which do not expire. The licenses used for special purposes, such as testing and trial use, are non-commercial licenses that have a strict validity period. They are also called temporary licenses. Permissions of different roles in the ESDP ESDP has four user roles. Different roles have different permissions regarding license operations. A guest user is only permitted to use an authorization password to download and activate a commercial license and use a revocation code to change an ESN. An EBG, GTS, and TAC user can activate, download, and maintain a commercial or temporary license and use a revocation code to change an ESN. A channel partner can download, activate, and maintain all commercial licenses purchased according to the contracts it signed with Huawei and apply for temporary licenses. Now I will demonstrate how to perform common license operations on a device, including how to obtain a device ESN, load a license file, and obtain a revocation code. After that, I will show you how to apply for ESTP permissions and a license file. Now, let's take a look at the common operations on a device. In any view, run the display ESN command to obtain the device ESN. Then load the existing license file. We now have successfully loaded the license file. We can check the license status and the remaining validity period. Finally, revoke the license and obtain the revocation code. We can also run a command to check the revocation code. Now I will demonstrate how to apply for ESTP permissions and a license file. There are two ways to access the license application platform. The first way is to directly visit the ESTP website app.huawei.com slash ISTP. Alternatively, access the Huawei support webpage for enterprise customers and choose Support, then Product Licensing to access the ESTP platform. As mentioned earlier, ESTP has four user roles and different roles of different permissions regarding license operations. So how can a user increase its license permissions? Let's take a look at the methods of applying for each type of permission. 1. Apply for guest permission. You can obtain the guest permission so long as you register at Huawei Support webpage for enterprise customers. We won't go into more detail here. 2. Apply for TAC or EBG GTS user permission. Click Permission Application in the navigation area on the left. Enter the username, select a group and validity period, enter other required information, and click Submit. 3. Apply for Channel Partner permission. Employees of a channel partner need to ask the eChannel system administrator to apply for the permission on their behalf. Access the Huawei support webpage for enterprise customers, click My Huawei. In the navigation area on the left, choose Authority and Authentication, then Access Right Application, associated with company. Enter the company name and click Search. Enter your name, responsibilities, and other information. Then click Confirm.
After you have associated with your company, contact the eChannel system administrator to apply for the permission for you on the ESDP. Next, I will show you how to apply for a commercial license. Access the ESDP webpage. In the navigation area, click License Activation. Then choose Password Activation or Entitlement Activation, depending on the user role. This video uses password activation as an example. Click Password Activation and enter the activation password. You can find the activation password in the license authorization certificate of the product. To activate multiple licenses and batches, click Add to add more passwords. Enter the device's ESN. If a stack is involved, refer to Multi-ESN Example and enter ESNs of all member devices in the stack. After confirming activation, you can download the license file. Note that each activation password can be bound to an ESN only once. Please make sure you enter the correct information in each step. If you have any doubts during the operation, stop the operation and contact the customer service or send an email to license at Huawei.com for help. Now I will introduce you to how to apply for a temporary license. In the navigation area, click Enterprise Temporary License. Various types of temporary licenses will be displayed. Select the desired temporary license. Here we use New Characteristic on Trial as an example. First, carefully read the user notice and then click Next. Select the product and version and enter the device's ESN. All the features supported in this version are displayed. Select a customer type. Click Confirm and Generate License. Now the application for a temporary license is complete. That's how you can apply for a license on the website. Thank you for watching. To watch more of our Cloud Engine Series Switch videos, log in to Huawei Support webpage for enterprise customers. Under Support by Product, select Multimedia. On the displayed Multimedia portal, click Switch and choose a Cloud Engine Series Switch. Then you can view videos about that series.